What up, everyone? My name is Jacob from uh, Colmar Creative, a metal music video production company from Copenhagen, Denmark. Today, I'm reacting to Mirror's Purple Static, a music video done by a director called Ben from Third Eye Visuals, which I am doing a podcast with in like 15 minutes. <laughs> so uh, this is like my last research before we do the interview. You can check out uh, the podcast and link down below. And uh, also, we have a Patreon, if you didn't know, where you can sign up and get some uh, exclusive reactions there. Without further ado, let's get into Mirror's Purple Static. Six shots here. Looks grand. Wow. Some guess this was a CGI person here. Oh, the rocks. Wow, six shot. This is beautiful. Oh, look at the reflection in the building also. The detail. Bang a chorus. That's sick. <laughs> it's really trippy. So it seems like uh, this is like stock footage that he then uh, went in, in Blender or something uh, Unreal and then did the uh, animations and uh, and 3D tracked it and you know made all those effects so it like looked really incorporated, which is really a sick way of integrating stock footage and making it your own. That looks sick. We really like those heat wave things. Ah, oh, they're dropping. Oh, that was a sick shot. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, the spider, that was a sick shot. Oh my God. Come on, bro. This is amazing. Ah, six. Wow. What a good job. This is a great idea, uh, a way of making like, a, it's almost like a visualizer more than a music video because uh, there's only like the, the the scene with the lead singer singing, which is on a green screen on the, on the sick background. I think it was a green screen. Otherwise it would be a pretty sick uh, 
sick location there. It looks like it was green screen and then composited it in. But anyway, just he has some excellent compositing skills. All the lighting matches really well with all the stock footage. Small details like having reflections, uh, having those kind of like watery, surfacey things. So it looks like you know, either they're swimming in the ocean or it, like there's it, it's like things that would artifacts that would happen in camera, which he then did in post and digitally. So it m looked like it was really integrated. Um, I th I'm pretty sure he must have also color matched and color graded those uh, stock footage with all his. Uh, his uh, CGI stuff afterwards in in in, uh, in After Effects. I would guess it was something like finding some nice stock footage, going in and finding some figures or in, like characters. Um, you can download like different um, pre-made, you know, all those animals and stuff, uh, 3D objects, and you can port that into a 3D pro software program and then 3D track the original stock footage and then place these new uh, characters or objects in that new environment. And then afterwards you can do uh, the animations of what they should do. And there's also usually some animations that follow along with the object or you can download some or you can rig them yourself, but that takes a long time. So you can download like pre-made uh, movements. I don't know what he did here. I'm gonna ask him about that. And then, um, and then afterwards you can go composite that in After Effects and color grade and match and do all those kind of extra stuff and in the edit. So s huge work <laughs> behind this really, really sick uh, video. I stoked to talk to him about that. So uh, if you enjoyed the, this reaction, do check out the podcast link down below. See you later.